Well, going back to right wingers, including right wing members of Congress who have decided to attack AOC and lie about their own experience. Let's talk about Representative Nancy Mace who tweeted this. AOC made clear that she didn't know who was at her door. This is during the riot. Breathless attempts by media to fan fictitious news flames are dangerous. My office is two doors down. Insurrectionists never stormed our hallway. Egregious doesn't even begin to cover it. Is there nothing the mainstream media won't politicize? And then it's interesting because AOC did decide to respond to her Republican colleague here by providing receipts of what Nancy Mace had to say about the insurrectionist previously. And so a previous report said that Mace said she barricaded herself inside her DC office during the attack, fearing that Trump supporters she had seen staying at her hotel might target her after she voted to certify the electoral votes. May said she decided to sleep in her office that night. And in response to that, AOC says, this is a deeply cynical and disgusting attack. As the Capitol complex was stormed and people were being killed, none of us knew in the moment what areas were compromised. You previously told reporters yourself that you barricaded in your office afraid you'd be hurt. This keeps going on and on and it's it's infuriating, it's ridiculous. And for, I have one statement for the left. I mean, the right is hopeless. The right plays these games, they're disgusting and they always go out of their way to minimize the trauma that people feel, the trauma that people have undergone and experienced. But it's incredibly disgusting to see that kind of discourse take place on the left by people who purport to be leftists. And if you're angry at AOC for whatever reason, right? You're angry that she didn't you know, take up some sort of tactic that you thought would be successful in getting Medicare for all. And so you're mad and you have a vested interest in just minimizing what she went through. Keep in mind that despite your hatred for AOC, there are other people who are victims okay, of sexual assault or survivors of rape, survivors of that kind of stuff. And they're listening to you, they're reading your comments. And if you're trying to build a broad coalition, to garner support for the types of policies that the left wants, pretty pretty strange way to do it. So for the Republican Congresswoman, she said, is there anything the media won't politicize? But well, you told the media that you were barricading yourself, so were you politicizing it? And second of all, if a Republican led insurrection against the Capitol where people died is not a political issue, what is? I mean, we're not, she makes it sound like we're talking about random, you know, a dentist who did something and you're like, why are you politicizing the dentist? No, they invaded the political capital of the country and people died and they did it for political reasons because they wanted to have Trump be the president even though he didn't win the election. How is that not political? <laughs> so absurdity. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.